Well, looks like it's another day and another strange discovery from the James Webb Space Telescope. Something that the scientists once again are kind of having trouble explaining. Six separate galaxies you see right here very likely formed approximately 500 to 700 million years after the beginning of the universe, but the galaxies that are a little bit too massive, actually way too massive, creating a bit of a problem. Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and so let's discuss this new publication and new paper that just came out and talk a little bit more about exactly what's happening here, what the scientists believe is happening, but more importantly, discuss possible resolutions or possible explanations for why these galaxies could have existed so early on, or whether these are even galaxies. Although first, the obvious, so this is actually not the new discovery. As a matter of fact, the publication itself was already available back in July of 2022, and we did briefly discuss it back then as well. But what makes this paper interesting now is really the fact that it was finally published, peer-reviewed, and definitively confirmed to have something unusual going on in these six images. But here's the important part. Not unusual in the way that it breaks the Big Bang theory, or to some extent proves that the universe always existed, confirming what's known as the steady state theory, which I've discussed in one of the previous videos you can find in the description, but instead confirms the idea scientists have been discussing for the past few months. There was something going on in the early universe that allowed all of these ancient galaxies to grow, to combine, and to become bigger and more massive much quicker than anyone has ever anticipated. Or at least compared to the simulations such as the famous Illustris project that you see right here. So basically the idea here is that, well, the computers predicted this, but there might have been something missing in the simulation because what we're seeing is very different, or at least to some extent. And that is literally the purpose for the James Webb Space Telescope. It was kind of to see if the models were correct for the most part or if there was something missing. And it turns out, as it showed us, there's definitely something missing, which is of course why it makes it so exciting. Had the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed everything the scientists have been modeling for the past few decades, well, it would probably mean that I would have nothing to talk about because every single video would have been, yeah, this is exactly what the scientists thought. Yet the last few months have been super exciting because a lot of the models have been so far shown to be kind of incomplete. Once again, important distinction, not wrong, not incorrect in any way, just incomplete. The Big Bang still stands, the universe is still expanding, which is exactly why we're seeing these galaxies as redshifted so much compared to everything else. But more importantly, all of the images we've been getting so far don't show us anything super unusual that would prove anything completely incorrect. They definitively show us, though, that there is a lot of stuff we don't understand. Science at work. Although, as you probably know from some of the previous videos, this is not even the first time we talk about unusual galaxies found by the telescope. Once again, more videos in the description. This time, though, the discovery is all about the masses of galaxies and, I guess, to some extent, their size. All six galaxies discovered in this case, first of all, seem to be well-formed, but more importantly, seem to be pretty massive. One of them is at least 100 billion times the mass of our Sun, which is still maybe about 10 times less massive than the Milky Way galaxy, which is about 1 trillion solar masses, but presents a bit of a problem because nobody thought these massive galaxies could exist around the time when the universe was only about 500 to maybe 700 million years old. As you can see from this older model by NASA, the scientists used to believe that the first stars only appeared 400 million years after the beginning of the universe. So having these massive galaxies within about 200 to 300 million years, according to old models, would be impossible. But these models have already been reworked a lot in the last few years, and so everything you see here is already kind of outdated. Nevertheless, at the moment there's really no model that would explain how something so massive could form so fast. At the moment, the modern models predict that the first stars and some of the first smaller galaxies would have started forming around 150 million years after the Big Bang, which gives these massive galaxies only about 400 million years to develop into something mature, something possessing a lot of structure, and something already resembling some kind of a massive galaxy similar to the ones close to us. And so if these galaxies were already very similar to the ones we have around us, it's kind of difficult to explain how they were able to acquire so much density of matter. It's as if something caused them to become extremely dense and extremely massive really quickly compared to everything else around them. Now, is that impossible? Not really. As a matter of fact, if we actually consider the fact that a lot of properties of the early universe were different, including possibly very powerful magnetic fields, it's definitely a possibility 
we just have to rework some of the simulations used years ago. But I guess the other problem here is that the density of matter in these galaxies would be very different from the density of mysterious dark matter, especially in the halos of those galaxies. Implying that they basically are a little bit too dense to maintain their shape and to maintain their size. And because there are six of them discovered so far, it means that this is not just some lucky galaxy with unusual properties. This sort of implies that it might have been kind of common. And one implication here is that, well, maybe the amount of total mass in the early universe was up to 100 times greater than anyone previously believed. That's at least one potential explanation. And if so, where exactly did all of this mass go afterwards? This would create a new mystery of even more missing matter. Another more obvious explanation here would be, well, this could be an error in calculation, especially because, in this case, in order to calculate the masses for each of these galaxies, the scientists had to rely on a somewhat older model that uses their overall redshift and brightness in order to estimate the potential mass. In other words, it's not like the scientists use some kind of a scale to measure their weight. There's a very big possibility that the model used in this case might actually not work with these really distant galaxies very well. But in order to assess if this is correct, the scientists behind this paper have already proposed that obtaining spectra of all six candidates will definitively reveal their nature, their distance, and of course their size in more detail. So even right now this is a pretty big assumption. By seeing something like this, an actual chemical spectrum, like seen from several other galaxies, the scientists will know for sure. And it will definitely reveal exactly what the scientists here are looking at. They even have suggested that maybe these are not galaxies at all. Maybe these are entirely different objects. For example, they've proposed that this could also be some really strange, very massive black holes, producing extremely high amounts of radiation because of very powerful accretion disks. And if it is ultra-massive black holes, that presents a new mystery, another mystery that will have to be explained in some other way. Which is why spectra observations will very likely be the next step here. At the moment, this is not available. But apart from being some really strange, never-before-seen black holes, or galaxies that formed a little bit too quickly and possess a lot of mass, these could also just be very exotic objects that only existed early on in the universe and do not exist anymore. You might want to check out the video on the green pea galaxies we discussed not so long ago that do talk about some of these phenomena in more detail. But once again, this could also just be an error, mostly because of the model used that sort of overestimated the mass. This is also actually mentioned in a paper with a potential overestimation by a factor of 100. But if these are galaxies, well, it once again means we just don't understand how galaxies formed early on, with some explanations maybe pointing at the mysterious cosmic web that basically guides and builds the galaxies over time, but also probably very powerful magnetic fields, which might have played a role in helping these early galaxies form much larger over time. Something that one of the recent studies has actually explored as well by looking at the magnetic fields of the cosmic web and how they tend to actually guide a lot of the material inside. And so what's the conclusion here? Well, as I mentioned back in July or August, whenever the scientists originally found these, finding these unexpected galaxies was always the main purpose of the James Webb. This was actually from the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science program that was released in the summer of 2022. And the main goal of this program was exactly that trying to figure out if the models of the universe evolution were maybe a little bit too primitive, and if the stars and the galaxies early on evolved in some other way. And now, months later, that's pretty much exactly what all of these galaxies, and of course all of these new discoveries, are sort of implying. Models need to be reworked, a lot of new observations have to be made to try to figure out exactly what's happening here, and more and more studies need to be conducted before any conclusions can be made. So once again, science at work. But for me personally, it just means that more and more videos, more topics to investigate, and more exciting discoveries to discuss in a lot of future videos. Subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and check out some of the previous videos on similar topics in the description below. Support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt with a James Webb Space Telescope on it in the description below. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye. And this one here, I'm going to name Pimple, because it looks like a pimple.